Hello people, welcome to This Week in Anime, where I take anime news that I find interesting and I bring it to you in a most palatable fashion that you can understand. I'm Vandal, and let's get to it. So the first story of the day starts off with Hunter x Hunter, and it's getting an English dub if you didn't already know, and it's going to be on Toonami, starting April 16th. The voices look good, the animation is great because where else is it from, and it's from Japan. If you also didn't know, this anime started in 2011, running for 148 episodes, and it ended in 2014. So, we have a lot to go on, at least for Toonami standards, and they've been doing pretty good as of late, so let's see what they do with this. Yeah. Now our next story deals with Beat the Vandal Buster, which we can all understand where I got my name from now. And it returns next week Friday after a 10 year hiatus. Continuing on with the Baron's arc, and I'm going to find it interesting because I actually haven't really read it. All I've actually watched is the episodes, the 52 anime episodes that it started with. I didn't even get to Excelion. So, I need to make myself a true Vandal and finish this before it starts again and start reading it. I find that it's interesting though that a series took a 10 year hiatus and came back. Looking at you Hunter x Hunter, but still, 10 years? That's a long time. So in movie news, we have a couple of stories to talk about, first of which is Netflix is picking up Death Note as its own live action series. So some movie studios have been trying to acquire this title, such as STX and Lionsgate, and it looks like the budget is going to be uh, somewhere between 40 and 50 million to make this movie. Now in casting, maybe one of the notable or not so notable names is Nat Wolf from The Stars in Our Eyes. If you remember him, you can check out that movie there. I have yet to see it, so I actually don't know his acting potential. but. His face looks weird to be cured, so I'm not exactly sure where they're going with this one. It has yet to be confirmed that he is actually going to be Light Yagami, but if he is, it would be a little bit weird. One of the things that I hope for this series, though, is that they don't, like, mess it up. It's very easy for American people in American media to really mess up live action films, so let's hope they get it right with this one and not mess it up. It's really easy. Writing names in a book, killing people, drama. We can do this. It's easy. All the source material is there. We can do this. Don't take too many liberties. We can do this. Following that story in movie news, and maybe not so great movie news in my opinion, is that Edge of Tomorrow is getting a sequel and they've hired a team of writers to get it together. <sighs> take on the first Edge of Tomorrow, I watched it and it was a little bit of a bore and it was a little bit too westernized for my tastes and it was a bit boring and repetitive. So as they're making a sequel, I don't know exactly what they're going to try and do with this as maybe they're going to extrapolate some other stuff that actually isn't in the, sh the book or anything. I don't even know where they're going with it, but they've hired writers, so it's coming guys. Get ready. So this week in gaming, they everyone seems to have released a crazy amount of mobile games and I'm going to talk about some right now. So it looks like this week, if you didn't already have it or have picked it up, you should get it now. It is Kingdom Hearts Key. It has come out this week and I think everyone loves it for the most part. I haven't seen anything bad about it. And I've played it a little bit myself. It's a, it's entertaining for what it is being a phone game. And hopefully it will keep me held over until 2.8 comes out. So we'll see how that goes. A new but not so new game is Mitomo. I love this game. If you don't already have it, you should get it. That's a great game to play too because... There's a lot of me's in it and lots of quirky stuff to do and just it's it's like a better version kind of Facebook and slightly more interactive. So if you haven't get it, check it out. It's a really good game. Now the last game on my list of mobile games is Tales of Link. I think that's what it's called and it was released sometime around last week and it's I don't know how good the game is. I looked at a video for it and it seems pretty okay and I would say check it out for the most part if you like Tales or you just like really easy games to pass the time while you're playing on your phone. My friend, however, does not recommend it, so he says it's trash, but he's not really a mobile gamer, so I say try it out for yourself and see how you like it. Also in movie news that I forgot to mention is that Death Note is getting another live action film and it is a sequel to the original. So they also have shown the antagonist for this movie and that is Yugi Shion, a cyber terrorist who is trying to forward Kira's wor world and make it more Kira-y by messing with the cops. So we'll see how that develops. I didn't actually know this was a thing so this is actually kind of cool. If there's any more info on this topic just tell me in the comments down below. Some other cool news that is coming our way, there might be a sequel to Shiro Bako. For those of you who don't know what Shiro Bako is, it is an anime about making anime and they're thinking about making a sequel to the show and they're just thinking about how to get a theme together and what might work. 
Now, I'm really excited to see where they might go with this and if it actually becomes a thing because I really haven't watched the first season yet, but I know it'll be as interesting as I think it will be because I really want to learn more about the anime industry and what maybe goes behind the scenes or some other nuances that they have to add. But it's a very good show if you want to know about that, so check it out. So if some of you have yet to check out my JoJo review, you can check it out right here. But in other news, it was kind of cool. We got an ending this week for the show and the creator of the ending threw out a shout out on Twitter about getting shown in the JoJo anime. So that was actually really cool. One of the cool things in today's segment, I guess, I'm gonna call it. <laughs> okay, now this is the really crazy one that I wanted to talk about and that was a Code Geass drawing sold from Mandrake. It was auctioned off for about $7,500 and change. And it was like a hentai not safe for work picture, but I got some thoughts on that. Now I understand that we all love anime and anime is great, but I don't know if a drawing is worth that much money. That's $7,500. Maybe you could invest that into other things, but let's that aside, fandom can make you or drive you to do things that you normally wouldn't do. So that's not the worst thing that could have came out of this. It's just one of those things that is really, really odd. Now finishing up all the sexuality, they released a new VR headset or type bodysuit that you put on and you have sex with it. This is old news, but it's kind of news to me as it has happened over the past week and I've seen it in action. And that thing is interesting, but also very scary. Now. After looking at what it actually does, it just seems like a very, very, very intricate way to jerk yourself off. It's kind of crazy. I didn't think that people will go to such lengths to put on a suit. But you know, it's 2016 and we're moving into the future. And one day we won't even know what we're doing, when we're doing, and how we're doing it. So, you know, sex is always the first step in that, right? Mm. But that is the end of This Week in Anime, and I hope that you have had your fill of anime. Most of these stories can be read up or seen on Anime News Network. I'm just delivering to you the ones that I thought were the best so you can check them out there. But question to you guys, what do you think about the future of virtual reality and sex headsets? Do you think we're moving to the way of the future? Do you think 7,500 is a worthy amount for some artwork? Granted, you could have bought a lot of the VR headsets and had a better time, maybe, with the graphics of that game. Whew, that's crazy. But yeah guys, I'm Vandal, and if you made it to the end of this video, don't hesitate to hit the like button, and if it also is your first time seeing my face, don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button. But until next time, slash next week, I'm Vandal, and this has been This Week in Anime, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace! Bye!